Have you ever considered going back to school? For many of us, we think that college is for 18-year-olds, but there are many options for those of us who have a little seasoning. If you're interested, this is the session for you. Stay tuned. <music> TCT presents Public Report, a look at the issues and events of importance to our viewing area. Now, here is your host. Hi, I'm Valda Ford, and welcome. Today, I have the great pleasure of having with me representatives from Laurel University, the President, Dr. Larry McCullough, Thank you, and the you. Director of University Relations, Wanda Clark. It's delighted to be with you today. Oh, thank you so much. I know that Laurel University might be a name that's different for people. They're accustomed to hearing John Wesley. What's going on with that? Why did you change the name and how it has it affected what's going on with the university? Well, the college when it was uh, founded over a hundred years ago was in its charter as an interdenominational Bible college and uh, programs and it was was not uh, supported by any one particular denomination so we wanted a new name that would give an interdenominational scope and uh, also the uh, uh, improved access for some of our graduates in uh, closed countries like Dubai, which is a Muslim country, or in Cuba or Venezuela. A lot easier for our graduates to, to work in those countries. And then the word college in many of the Romance languages really means, as it's translated, K to 12, oh. not really university level. So we wanted to enter the, the term university because we had a full array of programs, including graduate programs as well. Oh, well, that's really pretty interesting, considering that you're very international in scope. You have students from around the world because you have an Internet-based learning. It's called distance education. Okay. It includes um, online learning, which is um, totally through the Internet, or also a cohort system, which students get together um, and bring in, we sometimes send an adjunct faculty member to a certain group and then they have some, a, a concentrated session of, of classes. So, yes, we have students throughout the world. And one of the reasons also <clears throat> for the name change was uh, Laurel is the name of the plant that was used to make the wreath that Paul speaks about when he says, running the race to win the crown. That wasn't the Elizabethan crown. That was a crown of laurel wreaths. And so we really wanted to um, hearken and remember that this is exactly what we want to do. We want our students to run the race well as, uh, as we do ourselves. Well, that's amazing. Yeah. Tell me about the types of programs you have. Most people, when they think of your college, would think, well, if I want to be a minister or if I want to be the head person over the children's ministry, this would be the college. But... What type of programs do you have? Well, we offer a variety of uh, students, a variety of programs in different formats, both on campus as well as online in a blended approach. And our courses, all the way from Bible and theology, pastoral ministry, uh, Christian ministry. Uh, but uh, we have a program in management and business ethics. It's very popular in the area. Christian counseling, uh, intercultural studies, uh, elementary uh, education. And then at the master's level, and there's worship arts and several other programs, but at the master's level there's the master's in theological studies, one in uh, master of education or in Christian school education, and a, a new uh, master of ministry in Christian leadership. And then this fall we just started a uh, doctor of ministry program. Well, it sounds like you're preparing people to really be able to work well in the world regardless of if their specific purpose is the ministry, but to be able to take good care of, be good stewards of whatever job they have by offering that well-rounded approach. If you go by our, um, our sign on Eastchester there in High Point, you'll see uh, the new name, Laurel University. And on our documents, we have a secondary line that says, learn, grow, impact. And that's what we want to say to our students and to any potential student is, 
that we want you to come, we want you to learn, you will learn. We want, are interested in your growth. We want to make sure that you're growing emotionally, um, uh, intellectually, but spiritually definitely as well. And our prayer is that our students go out and uh, impact the world for God no matter where they serve. So that's kind of our little uh, motto, motto now, learn, grow, and impact. That's great. I see that you offer programs in Spanish, according to the Center for New North Carolinians, 10 or 11 percent of the people living in Guilford County speak a language other than English, and we know that Spanish is the number one language of those languages spoken. So uh, tell me why you have a program in Spanish. Well, two years ago, we acquired an accredited interdenominational Bible college and graduate school. It was based in Miami, Florida, but with students in 26 different uh, countries in Spanish. And so with that acquisition, we have available a bachelor's program in biblical studies, all in Spanish. And the master's in theological studies program is in Spanish, as well as uh, a master of education program. Spanish. Wow. Primarily they're studying online. So you have people who are first language Spanish speakers or people who may have Spanish as one of their many languages, but that way they're able to go out to take care of people, to help educate people, to inform, to help them grow those who might have Spanish as a first language. Right. Okay. So I know many people do worry about going to college once they get to be grown-ups. When they get to be like us, a little bit seasoned, and we've been around the world a little bit, and we wonder, is it a place for us in college? Can we keep up? Can grown people succeed in college these days? Well, 20 years ago, Valda, uh, the college began a program of uh, an adult degree completion program in management and business ethics to help those in the marketplace to refine their tools to be better in their, uh, in their chosen job and profession. And uh, recently we've added uh, Christian counseling as well as uh, pastoral ministry. But the adult degree completion program is designed for those with approximately two years worth of college credits. They're 25 years of age or older. And uh, by one, going to school just one night a week, they can finish this, their program, depending on the number of credits they bring in, but in about 20, uh, 20 months by going just one night a week. So it's, it's convenient for them and it's affordable as well. Well, you're looking at the fact that they're grown people and they have to work and they probably have families to take care of. So you don't typically have the luxury of being in school eight hours a, a day, true. five days a week. And this way, the adult can continue their education. Um, the, the two years are programmed out. They know exactly what day they're going to have. It's that one night a week for the rest of those two years. They can build their lives around that. Um, great friendships are made, and it always, um, believe it or not, the adult learner ends up being very empowered by, what, by learning that way. They learn how much they really have learned in life, and then they're, they're strengthened by finishing that degree. They can say to their, their children, Mama did it, Daddy did it, you know, and that's a really, that's a great, not only is it a job, um, possibly making good job opportunities, but it's a matter sometimes of even personal accomplishment and adding a lot more to um, the, their community as well. Well, there are many different educational opportunities in North Carolina. I'm very proud of that in this state that anything yeah. that you want, pretty much, there's a soup to nuts approach. You can do the community college, you can get a doctoral degree. So what makes Laurel University an excellent choice for local learners? Why don't you take that one? Well, um, basically because we have, uh, we're very cost effective. Um, we have multiple formats, so students can mix, they can do blends if they want to take um, some online courses and accelerate their program or instead of a certain class. Uh, we're very adult friendly. Um, we definitely are a Christian university. So all of the teaching is in an environment and through the prism of a Christian worldview. Um, but yet we don't lack for academic excellence. Um, so I would say that it's an ideal homegrown choice for uh, uh, potential students to come to High Point, to Laurel University, to learn, to grow, so they can impact their world for God. Well, why don't we talk a little bit about those non-traditional students, uh, veterans returning. 
Um, how is it good for a veteran? What makes it a good choice for a veteran to come to Laurel University? Well, we have on our staff um, a person who is veteran VA certified, trained to help um, the veterans work through the system. We are a military-friendly school. If you go to our website, you're going to see the logo there, military-friendly school. Um, we accept as, as are able the credits for on-the-job military training. Um, so that's kind of what makes us very, very military-friendly, is that uh, we're flexible, um, we're very open, we're very proud of our veterans, and we view even our service to them as providing this education a way of paying back what they've done for us. Exactly, they do so much yeah. for us every day. Yeah. They sure do. Now, if I'm interested in getting more information about Laurel University, how would I contact you? Is there a phone number that's a good phone number for me to get? Yes, 887-3000. Um, um, and our website is laureluniversity.edu. And if I want more information, if I know you're having an upcoming informational session, what would I hope to learn there? Well, a little bit more specifically, um, the information about the degree programs you might be interested in, um, ways of assessing how much credit you might be able to bring into it, just a chance to get on campus, get a feeling for what it is to be a Laurel University student. This information session will be held on February the 21st at 6 p.m. and we really are looking forward to having people come and get to know us. That's our invitation. Come on in and learn what you can learn about us. Well, this is very interesting, but I just want to reinforce, so you are based in Christian teaching, Christian education, so if I am a person who has felt the call of the ministry, this would be an ideal place for me locally? It's a place where uh, we can help to equip uh, men and women to effectively serve God no matter what their calling or profession is. Wow. And so that's good for anything. So whether I'm in the pulpit or helping to manage mm -hmm. the organization, that's a good place for me. Correct. That's right. right. I was very impressed with the school when I had the chance to tour it to see that you even have a dormitory that people stay on campus because I was thinking it was an adult campus only. Yes, well we have both, uh, we have the student, the younger student, um, we have married students who live on campus, and then we do have the commuter type student that comes on campus, and we try, we're making a community of us all. Uh, one of the distinctives, I don't know if you know this, Valda, is that we have chapel every week. And uh, actually the Facebook postings, that's been the most um, viewed and commented um, part of our Facebook postings is the fact that everyone really loves the chapel program. So. That is wonderful. Well, I'm happy to say as a high pointer, I'm glad that Laurel University is there. And I am very glad that you've come here today to tell us about the many opportunities at Laurel University for the seasoned learners, mm -hmm. for those who are pretty much out of the gate, the 25-year-olds. And I hope that those of you who are listening out there will take the time to call in to attend the information session to learn more about Laurel University.